Hi guys, Larissa here with day number six of the 10 days of holiday creating with ribbon. Um, today I wanted to do something a little different. Um, I have seven nieces and being as I only have a son, um, sometimes creating uh, girly and frilly things is just really fun for me. Um, and I'm a total girly girl, so I love it even more. Um, but today I wanted to share some ideas on things that you can make um, during the holiday season to give away, whether it be headbands or pins for coats um, or hats or scarves or anything like that. Um, and this is what I made um, today to share with you. Um, I've used some May Arts ribbon. This is our new burlap um, series and this is 4061514 um, and it comes in a lot of different colors as far as the where the red and white is um, and then I've just used my Sizzix dies to cut out these flowers and layered them together um, and then added brads in the center and um, this is actually some ribbon that I got at May Arts and I just cut it and stitched it and made my own little headband um, but if you don't have a sewing machine you can also buy um, different styles of pre-made headbands I got this one at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and um, if you find the stuff when they have it on sale sometimes it's up to half off which I think I got this half off um, so it's actually really reasonable and I really liked um, this braided headband which I'm actually making some of these for my nieces for Christmas um, but you could also use hats um, this is actually my um, winter hat and I thought this would be really cute on there as well um, when I'm wearing it around so anyway um, I wanted to share with you some different ways for you to use your um, sorry my camera for you to use your Sizzix dies and um, some of the other dies that are out there. Um, so like I shared with you the other day, this is a Build a Flower die from Paper Tray Ink. Um, they also have a ton of other dies that, would be, that you could use. Um, this is a Dynamics die um, and this is a set of little daisies. Um, and little centers, which this would be really cute to layer for little barrettes and stuff, or um, like bobby pins. Um, and then these are just a couple of the other build a set dies. And I actually wanted to share this one with you. This is actually a um, pinwheel die, and this is a dynamics die um, from My Favorite Things, um, is the name of the company. And um, so anyway, I cut that out of some felt, and it's actually really cool because it actually has a hole um, where you can thread the ribbon through, or the needle through. Um, so I'm actually just going to come up from the bottom here in the center and match up where that little hole is on the end of the little pinwheel there. And it just totally makes all the takes all the guesswork out of it as far as finding where the center is. Um, and then it comes with a little flower and a little circle that you can add to the top. Um, so I would add that, and then um, and you could cut this out of different felt too, um, and then add a brad and. If you layered this with some flowers or something, I think this would be really cute in a little girl's hair um, layered on top of some flowers or something. I just think that would be really sweet. Um, also, this is the Tim Holtz um, new pine cone die. Um, the new pine cone die. Oops, upside down. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to share with you that these actually make really cute flowers. Um, and I love the way that they look when they're finished. You just cut it out of your felt and uh, roll it up. And it actually makes the prettiest little rose flower for a bread or something. 
um, and I love the way that that looks. Um, but you could also make it larger by just cutting out two of them and continuing off where um, the old one went and then you end up with a larger one. Um, and this would be really, really fun to make a barrette or layer um, on a headband um, for an even larger uh, flower with different petals. I just love the way that looks. And you could roll this tighter and make little baby uh, rosettes and stuff too, which would be really, really cute. Um, the other two dies that I used were this one, and that's actually what I used for this these flowers. Um, and this is called the flower layers with the leaf die. And then I also use this die, which it actually looks like this. Um, and I wanted to share a couple ideas with this and how to use this. Um, for those of you who don't know or haven't seen this before, um, I actually cut out, um, I folded my felt into fours and lined it up on the corner of the die, um, which is, I can show you. I lined it up on the corner of the die here, um, just like this, and then it cut out, and you can make a, a full circle, or what I did was cut it after I had it, I cut it in half, and then cut it in half. Um, so you could either end up with a full circle, um, or like I did, cut it in half, and then um, what I wanted to share with you are these little rolled uh, flowers. Hopefully you can see that okay. I just thought these were super, super cute, um, especially with the pink edge. And you could either add a gem in the center of that or keep it the way it is, whatever, whatever you want. Um, but this little flower I also made um, doing the same thing, only I used this other um, portion of the die right here with the little loops and um, I folded it in half and cut it the same way I just lined up my felt and um, then you have a piece like this and all I did was started at one corner and I rolled really tightly and then I took my needle and thread and went through about halfway down and just stitched back and forth back and forth back and forth and then once I got it stitched, I just pulled it away from each other a little bit. And you have a really cute, sweet little uh, bud flower that would be really cute to put um, on a collection for a little headband or um, for a little pin or something. Um, and then these are the pieces of the flower that um, I made that I put together. And I wanted to share with you... Um, how I was able to give this some more life so that it has um, a little bit more um, depth to it. Um, I actually just took my needle and thread. Um, let me tie this off really fast. I actually just took my needle and thread and um, stitched around the inside circle of the flower. Um, to make it, um, so I just took my needle and my thread and I just went around the inside uh, of this loop right here, just around the center there you can kind of see, and I just did a running stitch around the inside, which you don't have to be too precise, but um, then when you pull it tight, it actually gives your flower some dimension and you can pull it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. Like if you just wanted um, little sprigs for the center of a flower, this would be super, super fun. Um, or you can uh, just do it a little bit and add just a little bit of life to your flower so that it's more 3D. And I just did that with all three of them and then layered them together and it gave um, my flower a lot of di a lot more dimension. Um, the last thing I wanted to share with you is this uh, little fringe portion here, 
and um, I actually made this really cute little flower out of it but I wanted to share with you how easy it is to do this um, and then the way that I layered the lengths of these to give it more dimension was I actually um, cut off a portion of these um, like this is the full length of the fringe and you can tell down here I cut off um, part of the fringe I just went across it like this and just cut off part of it and I did that on two of the pieces um, I cut them just a little bit different from each other so that they line up but yet they're just a little bit off and you're just gonna take it and roll and I wanted the center to be um, two-toned so that's why I did this like this and then the other pieces I cut full and I'm just going I just want a solid color of the blue and then I wanted a solid color of the pink um, on the outside so just layer these around and this is really really easy and then you have two choices you can either um, hot glue this to another piece of felt when you're done um, like a circle piece of felt or you can stitch it um, and just um, stitch all the way through the bottom and do a couple stitches to hold it together or you could just use hot glue and cut a circle of felt and then stick this in the center and then you're just able to fringe this out and um, make a really 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 cute little flower and so then you can see better how the center looks a lot better and you get a lot more 3d dimension if you trim the fringe a little bit before you um, roll it up instead of trying to trim it once it's already put together um, then I just wanted to share with you how I did that rolled ribbon um, flower here with the ribbon. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this technique and um, all you're going to do is make a knot in the end of part of your ribbon and then you're just going to form a little bud. That's what I like to call it in the center and then you're just going to take your ribbon and uh, fold it in half and then uh, continue to turn it um, and you can add glue in between all of these stages or you can just wait till the end um, and use your uh, piece at the end to fold underneath and glue it together that way. So then you can make your flower as big or as small as you want. Um, so anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas on different ways to use your dies and um, some different ways that you can make fun little pins or barrettes or um, little hat decorations or scarf little decorations um, for people that you love for Christmas um, or birthdays or just anything. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and um, today's uh, giveaway is a, a Baroque, um, I think it's the Baroque it's either the Broke or the Ornate um, Sizzix die from Tim Holtz. Um, so please leave a comment for your chance to win. Thanks so much, guys, and have a fabulous, fabulous day.